My name is Jonathan Silva. This time I'm coming to you to take another look at Microsoft Power Automate. And what I really want to focus for this video is how we can use Power Automate to generally help us take those tasks we do or we'd like to do on a daily basis and, and just make it easier for us to accomplish those. Automate those routine things that we do all the time to make our life easier so we could focus on some of those more business uh, critical issues or any of those other issues that really take our mind to do. So for this time, what I'd like to take a look at is how we can utilize Power Automate in our daily lives, especially either at work or at play, in order to um, control outcomes of different scenarios we'd like to present. For this one, what I, I'm thinking about is, well, what if we have a schedule that we'd like to make? Or what if we have a meeting that we'd like to organize um, with other people within our department or in our organization? And we'd like to be able to have that organization done, but set it up automatically. And one of the things that we're gonna take a look at is how we can utilize a Microsoft form to assist us in that process. So for this scenario that I'd like to present is, let's say that we work for a university and as a university professor, it is now time towards the end of the first semester that we start to, to organize the thesis submission process for the many different students that we have inside of our, in our, in our university or our system. And part of that process is not just you know, going through the, the submission process and the final stages, but the, the early part of when students propose a topic for their thesis submission. And we can create a form to go help those students just generally interact with the university professor in a much cleaner way that is easier for them to organize the information. From that, it would be really nice if we could take the responses from that form and then automatically send a, a notification or an email to a professor if that student would like to schedule a meeting to discuss their topic for submission. So have an automated process enabled to make it so both the student, the professor have a, have a nice easy way of organizing their time together and making sure all their needs are met. So let's take a look at a Microsoft form that I've developed for this situation. And then from there, we'll develop a flow via Microsoft Power Automate to set this up and work automatically for us in the cloud. So here we are at uh, Microsoft Forms. And what I've done was I've just created a very basic form here um, with three questions, nothing very uh, unique about them at all. Uh, I've just called this our graduate thesis topic submission. So it's just a, a general form that you can create. I have three different fields that I've chosen for this one. You can see here the first is just the simply the name of the student, just name, okay? Uh, next is another text field, the, their topic that they are choosing for their graduate thesis, okay? So it's just whatever topic they choose, just simply type it in here via text. And then finally, the third option is, would you like to schedule a meeting? And the two responses we have are yes or no. And these, these are our choice responses available to that student. And what we'd like to be able to set up is a way to take the responses here and send a notification to the professor, um, whoever might be in charge of this whole scheduling process, the advisor, if you will, to send them a notification if a student selects that yes, they would like to schedule a meeting. So what we can do is utilize Microsoft Power Automate to help us in that process. So we're gonna go over to make.powerautomate.com here. And from here, we're gonna create a brand new automated Cloudflow. And for this flow name, we will simply put uh, send notification via email from form submission. And now for our trigger, what we are going to choose is the very first one. You can see here, it's just listed right there for us. We are gonna say that when a new response is submitted in our form, we want that to initiate our flow from there. And now we can select create. 
And so the very first thing that we would need to do inside of our flow here is to identify the form that we want to use for the submission process. So we're gonna come in here and choose our form ID. We're gonna pick our form that's automatically connected here. I'm gonna to go to my graduate thesis topic submission right there. And then we're gonna select a new step. Now, what we need to think about when we're working with Power Automate is in a logical sequence, how we can collect the data from the form and then utilize that in our notification. So for the, the next step, the next action that we want to initiate in here with our form, if we just look at our Microsoft Forms here, is we want to be able to get the response details be able to capture the details from that specific form and then use those as our dynamic content as we wanna send out our notification if that individual has chosen to yes, schedule a meeting. So now when we get the response details from the form that was submitted, we need to make sure we are identifying the same form And then we want to make sure that we want to capture the exact instance that was submitted at that time. So for our response ID, we are going to choose the response ID that was generated when the form was submitted as our dynamic content. And so now that we have the details captured for our form, what we can next do is des designate the condition we want to set for this email to go out or this notification to go out. So our next step here, our new step, is going to be our condition control. And for this condition control, we're going to base this condition off of that question from our form, would you like to schedule a meeting? So going back to our flow here, the choose a value area that we want to initiate here is we wanna add in that question itself, would you like to schedule a meeting? That is our question to check over. That is that we want to make sure that we're running inside of this condition for this logical test. So we would say, would you like to, to schedule a meeting is equal to yes, making sure that is the exact response that we have within the form. And if yes, they would like to schedule a meeting, what we'd like to do is send a notification. So I'll choose send me an email notification. And in the subject of the email, I could say that the name of the student that submitted the form would like to schedule a meeting. And I can also say inside of our body, name would like to discuss their chosen topic of, and then I can select their chosen topic in our dynamic content. So now if they choose that yes in the form that they would like to schedule a meeting, we would see inside of our flow that would go down the path after the response was submitted. We would capture the response details, test that if they want to schedule a meeting, and then if yes, send ourselves a notification. If no, they would not like to schedule a meeting, nothing needs to be done. We do not need to worry about anything from that point because they don't want to schedule a meeting. We should not have to be bothered by that. We could always go back at the end of the week, end of the, the term, if we'd like to go look at all the topics that were chosen and then maybe make a decision from that point as well. So now, once we save our flow, the only thing that we have left for this is to test it. In order to test the flow itself, we're going to select up here in the top right corner. And then we can choose to manually test this flow. Since I've just created this flow, I do not have an option to automatically test the flow from a previous run. So we're going to select a manual test and then select test here. Once this occurs, you will see our flow here will start to spin here in just a moment. And it will wait for us to submit a response into that form before it runs off. So I'm gonna go back to my form. We can select preview 
and then go ahead and put in some information. So I can create uh, some information here. Maybe I will put in uh, a name, Stephen Smith, topic chosen. Maybe we will put in, let's think of a topic, perhaps the allied strategic plan for Operation Overlord. After all, I am a former history teacher, so that's a great topic for me. Would you like to schedule the meeting? And yes. And now we can go ahead and submit our response. Now the response was submitted, we can go back to our flow and we'll see very quickly that our flow has run successfully. So let's go ahead and take a look at our response. And here we go. Here is the email that I've just received. Stephen Smith would like to schedule a meeting to myself here. Stephen Smith would like to discuss their top chosen topic of Ally Strategic Plan for Operation Overlord. Perfect. That's the exact response that we are expecting to see within this flow. And now everything has run exactly to plan. So one of the great things I love about Power Automate is his ability to be able to integrate all of the other uh, parts of the Microsoft ecosystem inside of the flow itself. So if you use these on a daily basis, it's quite simple for us to start to pull in information from the other parts in order to make an automated process set up nice and smooth. And also one of the great things about this flow specifically is there's so many different use cases we can use for this. It doesn't necessarily have to be this specific one for a professor and a student. Maybe it's internally at your, at your company and you'd like to see if anybody uh, on the team would like to schedule a meeting maybe to talk about a, a potential raise or any issues within the, the environment at work. Or if you have it for customer service, you send this out available to your customers and if they um, say how well that they like the service or not, yes or no, would, did you appreciate their responses? It can go down the no path. We can go down the yes path. There's a lot of different options that we can have within this flow specifically. And it's a very simple one for us to start to generate right from the beginning. Thank you again for joining me here today as you take a look at the uses of Power Automate. As always, if you enjoyed this video and all of our other videos, please do forget to go ahead and drop that like there at the bottom and subscribe to get more content from myself and all of us here at Pragmatic Works.